start off with what is important to me. You, then that's a question I can't answer for you. But you've got to answer for yourself. What is it that's important? And, and if you want to know what's important for any of you, I'll help you with this. Not tell you what it was, but help you with it. Whatever you struggle most with, that's what's important. So it's, it's deciding what's important for you and, and knowing that by, by what do you struggle most with. Like if you struggle most with being controlled by your family, what's important? I'm giving that out as a question. If you struggle with constantly feeling overbared by your family, what actually is important in your life? Control of yourself, that's one side of that coin. What's another one? Family. Family. Right? Now, so if you say, okay, I'm constantly struggling to not be overbared by my family. So the two sides of the coin, heads and tails, because there's always two sides of the coin, is sense of personal freedom, one side. Other side is family. Now, I'll help you out a little more. What does sense of personal freedom mean to me and what does family mean? See, it's not only good enough to know what it is, you have to know what it means. Now, that's, that's an area that we dig into a lot um, in quantum mind mastery and you start finding out what it is that's driving you because your life is being driven by these unconscious beliefs. But when you start making them conscious, remember most of it, 90% of it is unconscious, but learning the way that we teach, the what, what it is that we teach in our programs, is about learning how to make the, conscious, the unconscious conscious. So it's constantly going into that back room and saying, oh, man, what's this crap that's been running the machinery? Right? And so there are many ways to do that. I like the spiritual paths, but you don't have to go to spiritual paths. I mean, it's like what I said before. You know, I spent all those years traveling and studying with all those spiritual masters. Would I do it again? To be honest with you, if I could meet Dov Baron, this Dov, I wouldn't do it. Why would I do it? I can, I can, take, I can take attracting force, quantum mind mastery, quantum soulmates, quantum life mastery, quantum wealth mastery, deep. I've got the, the essence of the teachings. If I can do that in what is like 35 days over a period of time, why would I spend years doing those, going to all the teachers. It was interesting, it was phenomenal, I learned a lot, and it was interesting to be in those cultures and those kinds of things, sure. But in honesty, I'd actually go through my programs twice. That's what I'd do. It's just me. Because I, because I would be approaching it from knowing what's important. And so that's why there are programs I've gone and I've taken as many as four and five times. Because I've gone with an intention of this is what's important to me, and I'm going to that program again with the intention of what's important, not with the intention of um, inspire me. You know, that's the difference. You know, we talked about even at um, Secret Me on the Law of Attraction, where I asked the question, how many of you have seen The Secret? And how many of you have seen it five times or ten times? And people go and see it over and over, uh, they watch it over and over again, but they're not getting any further, because they're looking for inspiration. And it's not there. It was inspiring for a while, but it's about tools. So tools is about looking for what's important to you. So it's deciding what's important for you, and I pursue what's important. And if you want to know what's important, which is what's your biggest issue? What is the thing that keeps showing up in your life as a challenge? That's where you'll know what's the most important thing to you. Because that's what you're trying to heal. 